Should I say it? I just don't. I mean, it's uh, after the other day. It's really. Uh, I think you know what the problem was. The centre has always been us, right? I mean, the centre has always been from the beginning. So that's where the strength is, and we've got to go back to that. We've got to feel that again. We've got just to feel, feel that strength. I know. I agree with you. I just feel that something is in the middle. You know, not really something is happening. And it's not under our control. What do you mean? I don't really know how to say it. I just know that it's not making me feel. I feel like I'm um, saying it. I can't say it. I can think it. And I can feel it, but I just can't really seem to. Um, oh. I do feel that whatever we had was at least engendered, or at least fertilized by the music itself. I think if we go in there, we just get to work and, and forget about everything else. Fuck everything else. Who needs it? Get and do the work we're supposed to do.
six strings. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you my son. Once in your fucking life. Shut up. Oh, fuck. Oh. All right, there he goes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice. Goodbye. Nice. Goodbye. 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 What was it Ronnie Pudding said to me when I joined Look, the fucking, fucking Ronnie group? Pudding. He's Look, lazier this than is a my mate. And he's jumped off and the fucking boat, hasn't he? Look, let me go and try to solve things and get things just so go and worked do it. out. Go and do it. And get you right. back in together, all right? Right, go and do it. Time to fuck himself! I'm tired of saying, oh, David, you're my inspiration. Uh, Nigel, you're my inspiration. I'm tired of saying, no, Nigel, you're my inspiration, because he doesn't, he's not anymore. Right, you know, so he's just become, he's become sort of funny, hasn't okay, he? Okay, okay, so it's a fucking machine, right? And it's a fucking charade, right? And I can't whatever. take it, my fucking psyche can't take it, because I'm just, I've gone out of my mind. You've just got to hang on for one more round of the fucking carousel, and maybe we'll grab the fucking ring and be through with That's it. what I was telling him earlier this evening. I'm in there, I'm, I'm talking about, right. you know, I'm just singing at him. Just look, mate, fuck him. You'll do the part, you'll play both of them. No one will ever know. Me. You'll, play both, you'll play your part, you'll play Nigel's part. If he wants to come in and put his part on later. He'll be here all fucking great. night. No, don't say that. Well, I wanted to get home, I wanted to go say goodnight to Janine, because she's got, she's got this meeting. Right, I know. Well, look, let's do what we can. Leave the rest for uh, L.A. Great. or something. Great. Right. Great. Is he coming in? Well, don't worry about it. Well, I can't tell you how hard it was to track you down. You've been uh, you've been hiding out. Yeah, my host, who I'd like you to keep anonymous, he's a famous uh, TV or telly star, as they say. He plays a doctor on TV. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to mention his name. It's a bit, you know, embarrassing. Mm -hmm. So he let me this. We, uh, he's teaching me how to play tennis. Yeah. This is a top I mean, exercise. The first exercise for hand control is you keep the ball on the face of the racket. He says, keep it on the face, keep it on the face, and flip it. Keep it on the face. Oh, you're doing good. Keep it on the face. That's good. Flip it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So you've been, you've been uh, staying with him and uh, staying with him and flipping it like yeah. this. Flip it. Yeah. See? And that's what you've been doing since you since you left. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Since you left the band. It's Well, it's I've been also been uh, thinking, I suppose. Part of my program to really open up my mind and really redevelop myself is get up it's quite early. Get up for me early when it's chilly and 
and play this. You see, I'm not wearing any trousers. Or I don't think. Yeah, well, you're wearing. You see this? Wearing the tennis gear. It's. It's all. It's. It's. It's what they wear when they do this. And of well, course, they don't wear that. Don't right? touch me. Oh. Hello, Mr. DeBergie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think that uh, strikes fear into the hearts of your opponents, that little skull? That might work. I never yeah. thought of that. Yeah, it does that little... It does in, in real life. I know that. I know that's not no, normal <laughs> tennis attire. Yeah. yeah that's... So you're, you're really not thinking in terms of... Hello, uh, Mr. DeBergie. Yeah. You're not thinking in terms of what you, what you want to do creatively, what your future holds creatively. What I do, yeah. I, I've um, been writing a bit started one new song which is um, not finished I did talk to David and I think that there is a genuine concern on his part uh, for uh, you know a, a lack there's a lack he's missing you um, I just wondered if you have that that same feeling um, yeah yeah I'm missing uh, I mostly miss um, writing with him, I suppose, most of all. <laughs> it sounds silly, more than even performing. Why is, why is that? I don't know, something happens when we write a song together, it's sort of... Uh, I don't know, it's just... Uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to do it. It's, we sort of become, you know, the same yeah. writer when we're writing, I suppose. And it's, um... Do you ever think of pursuing a solo career? I'd really have to think about that quite a bit. I'd really have to uh, think about that. So I said, I'm trying to really reorganise my life. Stop smoking. Oh, yeah? <sighs> I used to make a wheezing noise when I... <sighs> now it's much clearer, you know. Yeah. It's been three days, and already it feels like it's completely cleaned out. And so I'm you're like taking this time to really uh, reorganize your whole life and try to put it, things in perspective and move in new directions. You see, I'm sort of getting back into the you know the way the Japanese look at it. They say, you know, a flat ocean is an ocean of trouble, and an ocean. of waves is can also be trouble so it's like that balance <laughs> you know it's that that great oriental way of thinking where you know they think they've tricked you and then they have 